nghiệp lặng than tên gửi lòng theo tiếng chuông morning dear friends the children in plum village they practice uh, pebble meditation each of them has uh, four pebbles And each pebble represents something. The first represents uh, a flower. The second represents uh, a mountain. The third one represents uh, the water, still water. And the last one represents uh, space. These four pebbles were given to me by one of the children who came to practice in Plum Village. And each of them has a little bag to carry these uh, four pebbles. And uh, every time uh, the bell announces uh, the practice of sitting, and then all of them will come and sit into <laughs> a circle and one of them will lead the uh, session of uh, joyful mindful sitting they do like this they put the four pebbles on the left and then after having here heard uh, the bell and enjoy breathing in and out three times they pick up one pebble first Now look at it. They remember this is a, a pebble representing a flower. They put it on the palm of their left hand and they put it on the right hand and they practice like this. Breathing in, I see myself as a flower. Breathing out, I feel fresh. And they do that for three times, three times. Breathing in, I see myself as flower. Breathing out, I feel fresh. Mentally, they say, flower, fresh. The point is that um, when you practice uh, breathing in and out, you have to transform yourself into a real flower. Fresh, beautiful, light. It's not because you want to uh, to be something else, but the human body, the human being, is uh, a kind of flower in the garden of humanity. When you look at the child, you see that everything in the child suggests a flower. His eyes are beautiful like flowers. His whole face is a real flower. His mouth is a flower. His hand is a flower. The whole body of the child is a flower, very fresh. And it's a great pleasure to contemplate a child because he, she is a real flower in the garden of humanity. We grown up people, many of us do not know how to maintain our freshness, our flowerness. We get angry, we get depressed, we lose some of our flowerness. We are no longer uh, pleasant to our beloved ones. It's not because you have to imagine that you are a flower. The matter is how to recover your flowerness, to become fully a flower again. And that is uh, the meaning of the first uh, practice. So breathing in, I see myself as a flower. I am nothing less than a flower. You have confidence that you have the nature of flowerness in you and you can recuperate. And you relax, you smile, uh, you help the flower in you to manifest fully. It's very pleasant. 
Breathing in, I see myself as a flower. Breathing out, I feel fresh. And then you repeat, flower. Fresh. Three times. And then you use your right hand, pick, you pick up the pebble, you put on your right. Now you pick up the second one. Look at it, smile to it. It represents a mountain, a mountain. Breathing in, I see myself as a mountain. Breathing out, I feel solid. Mountain, solid. There is a mountain inside of us. We can be solid. We can be stable. Often we are carried away by our anger, our fear. And we suffer because we lack solidity. A person who is not solid cannot be a happy person. That is why we have to help uh, cultivate our solidity in us. Not letting us be carried away by the regret concerning the past, the fearfulness concerning the future, our anger, our jealousy. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, we remain solid. Even if they provocate us, we are still smiling, we are solid. It's like a mountain. No matter how strong the wind blows, the mountain remains solid. There is the element of solidity in us, and if we practice, we cultivate that element of solidity that is very important for us. We become a refuge for us, and we become a refuge for our beloved ones. To be solid, beautiful, very beautiful. Breathing in, I see myself as a mountain, especially if you know how to sit in this position. If, even if someone come and push you like this, well, you don't fall. It's nice to learn to sit in a mountain position. This is a mountain position. And after three times, mountain solid, you put it on your right. Now you pick up uh, the third pebble representing water, still water. Breathing in, I see myself as still water. Breathing out, I reflect things as they truly are. This is a practice of calming. When you are not calm, you cannot see things clearly. If your anger, your jealousy, your fear is there, the water of your soul is not calm. And you see things distorted. You have wrong perceptions. And out of that wrong perceptions, you become hateful, angry, and so on. And you do things and you say things that will make you suffer and the person you love suffer. That is why it's very important to cultivate calm, to become still water. One day I went to uh, Interlake, a place, a um, high place in Switzerland, and I saw a very beautiful lake, and the water was perfectly calm. When you look into the water, you can see the sky, you can see the mountain, you can see the cloud, and if you aim your camera at the water, you, you take a picture, it is as clear as you aim your camera up. It really reflects things as they are. When your mind is calm, you can see the truth. And you don't make yourself suffer and others suffer. That is why it's very important to cultivate still water, calm in ourselves. A person who has no calm, that person cannot be happy, no matter how how grown up he is or she is. Cultivate calm. You bring peace to yourself and you bring peace to your beloved ones. It's very important. And then you pick up the last space. Breathing in. 
I see myself as space. Breathe now. I feel free. Space. Free. If your mind is preoccupied with so many things, so many projects, so many worries, so much craving and anger, you hardly have any space left inside you. And you hardly have something to offer to your beloved one. To love someone, the most uh, precious thing you can offer her or him is space. And if you don't practice space, you are not free. You cannot offer happiness and freedom to him or to her. And that is why cultivating space is important. Imagine the full moon traveling in a vast sky. All around the moon is the only space. That is why the moon is so happy. If you do not have space within you and around you, you cannot be a happy person. That is why practice so that you can bring space into yourself and around you, you'll be happy and you will make other people happy. People like to come and sit close to you because you have so much freedom, you have so much space. And in Plum Village, not only children like Bible meditation, but adults, they also like Bible meditation. Let us practice together. Breathing in. I see myself as a flower. Breathing out. I feel fresh. Please sit up beautifully and practice with me. Flower. Fresh. Breathing in, I see myself as a mountain. Breathing out, I feel solid. Mountain, solid. Breathing in, I see myself as still water. Breathing out, I reflect things as they truly are. Water reflecting. Breathing in, I see myself as space. Breathing out, I feel free. Space, free.